In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the spark plugs on this Ram 1500. This has the 3.6 liter V6 engine, so if you have the V8 engine, the procedure is gonna be a little bit different. If you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. Let's get started. We're gonna disconnect the negative side, use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up this nut right here and grab the terminal slide it up and out of the way using a 8 millimeter socket we're going to loosen up this worm clamp take the snorkel off the airbox slide that off disconnect this connector right here just push down on the tab slides off using a eight millimeter socket loosen up this worm clamp disconnect this hose right here just want to push down on the tab and slide it out you can see right underneath when you push that the two ears separate that will slide off just grab the snorkel just slide up over there, there's a grommet, and there's another one in the back here. Just pull up, and we'll pull forward, it slides right off. Now I'll just pull this rubber coupler off, put that on the intake. Just take this connector, use a pick or a screwdriver, just slide the little lock back, push up, disconnect it. See there's a wire retainer right here. I'm going to pop that down. You can use a trim tool. Just pop that down. It's disconnected. And there's another, there's another retainer right here. Just pop that off the bracket. And one more right there. So just pop those off just to get some more room. Disconnect this hose right here. I'm just going to use the trim tool just to pry it back. Just leave it there. Disconnect the throttle body. I'm just going to use the trim tool or a pick. Slide this little connector back, lock, and then push down. Disconnect that, then the retainer right there. Just use the trim tool, pop that off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take these two nuts off. These two hoses, I'm just going to use a pick, get under the hose, just loosen it up. Twist those off, same on this one. Just get under it, loosen it up, and pull that off, and pull it out of the brackets right there. And the solenoid, just lift that up out of the way, just slide those hoses back a little bit be fine. I'm going to take a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, take these two nuts off in the back here. Once they're loose, I'm just going to do it by hand. Just be careful, don't drop the nuts. There's a bracket right here with two bolts in it. You want to take those out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that up. And there's a retainer in the back there. We're just going to pop that off. Just using a trim tool. Just get underneath. I'll just pop the 
this off. Now I'll take these bolts out on the top and on the bottom of the intake, use an eight millimeter socket. are all loose. They are caged, so they're just going to stay with the intake and slide up. And we're going to pull the intake towards the passenger side. And just slide it out. Just grab this foam piece and just pull it up and out of the way. Can disconnect the connector for the coils. There may be little locks on the tab right here, but these do not have that. So you just push down. If you had the locks, you just want to use a pick and just push, push it back and just slide that off. So you just want to push down there, slide that off. And then using a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. those bolts out, grab the coil, rock it back and forth, and it slides right out. Just with a little compressed air, just spray down the spark plug tube in case there's any debris in there. Using a 5 8 spark plug socket, loosen up the spark plug. loose, slide it up. There's the old spark plug. Take the spark plug, put it in the socket. This is a magnetic socket, so it holds it. And very carefully slide it into the tube and start it by hand. And we'll torque those to 13 foot-pounds. good. Slide that out. Take the coil. And just slide it down in position. And tighten the bolt. And torque that bolt to 71 inch pounds. Good. Take the connector, line it up, lock it down. You can do the same with the other ones. Now take this insulation, slide that in place. Just take the upper plenum and just wipe this off just with a rag. You can use a little brake parts cleaner if it's real dirty. This one's not too bad. All right, that's good. Flip it over, all the bolts. And you want to get the studs in on the brackets. This is this bracket here and the bracket in the back. And get all the bolts started. Torque these to 89 inch pounds. We're going to start in the back. That's number one. Now 
This is number two. Number three. Four is further back. This is number four. Number five. Number six. And number seven. Now we're gonna put the nuts on this bracket right here. If it seems like this bracket is pushed out, you may have to loosen the bolts down below. This one looks fine. Two nuts on. There and there. Tighten those down. The two nuts for the bracket in the back. Get those on. And snug those down. And just snug. Now connect the hose over here and the wiring harness. I'm going to push the push pins through. Just where those go. You can connect the connector over here. Lock that down. And the connector underneath the throttle body. Push that in place, lock that down, and push that retainer, and any other hold downs, push those in, that looks good. I'll take this bracket with the connector, get those two bolts started, and push the retainer in place. Good. Snug those down. Now take this hose, line this up. It's going to go in the intake right there. Slide that in the brackets. the hose with the valve. Make sure that's plugged in. Slide that in place. That'll go over that hose. And plug this in right here. Take the snorkel, and this this piece came off before, so I'm just gonna slide this over. Slide it. Slide it over the throttle body. Grommets lined up up top. And push it down. That 
that's lined up good. There we go. Tighten down the worm clamp. And snug that up. Take this connector, lock that down. Take the hose in the back, lock that down. Slide the snorkel over the air box. And we'll tighten this one down. Snug that down. Connect the negative terminal, slide that in place, make sure it's all the way down. Tighten it up with the wrench. Make sure it's snug, just give it a wiggle and that's tight. Well, I hope this video helped you out and if you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com and you can watch all those repair videos to help you with your installs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.